Andrew Morton. He is the author of Tom Cruise, an unauthorized biography. And Andrew is good enough to join us from London this morning. And Andrew, as you know, in any downfall of a, of a marriage, there are a lot of factors, a lot of issues. Focusing on Scientology here, because a lot of people are, what do you feel that that role was in the end of their marriage? Good morning, Robin. Yes, uh, Scientology orchestrated their marriage. Um, uh, Tom Cruise asked David Miscavige, the leader of the church, to find him a bride and they went through a whole series of auditions with Scientology actresses and other actresses including Scarlett Johansson, Sofia Vergara was nobbled at one stage and she headed for the hills and then they got this doe-eyed girl from the Midwest, Katie Holmes, who said one day that she'd like to marry Tom Cruise and I'm sure, I'm positive that Scientology has formed a great part in her decision to uh, uh, make her great escape. It's a risky business, but she's got some, a few good men to help her. Well, of course, Tom Cruise and the church, they deny all of that, that that was orchestrated like that. Um, but you have researched this a lot, and you have talked to a lot of people, and there has been speculation about Suri's age and that she would have more involvement in the church. But at this age, what, how involved would she be in Scientology? Well, they're, they're always, all children are treated as adults because they believe that, you, that um, uh, there's, you're a spirit floating around the universe and then you inhabit somebody and you're an adult. So they always treat uh, children as, as adults. But from the age of six, she will be what's called security checked. That is to say, she's asked a series of questions. Does she spy on people? Does she have concerns about her parents and so on? And so that would uh, uh, bring a third person or a third element, the church, very much between her parents and, and Surrey. Now, Katie deciding to leave, as you said in your report, is definitely known as a suppressive person. That is to say, an enemy of the church. So she's not just taking on Tom, she's taking on the church as well. And Andrew, in Dan's piece, we saw a spokesperson for the, the Church of Scientology and his reaction to being interviewed, uh, uncomfortable to say the least. What have you mm. found, how have you found them to be when questioning them? Well, most people who, who have anything to do with Scientology, and you saw the reporter John Sweeney explode with rage, just find it, you know, they'll say black is white, then white is black. I mean, you, they'll say good morning to you, and you'll have to check the sky to check. Um, you know, the, the, you can't believe what they're saying. They'll, they always uh, dismiss people who've left the church as uh, apostates. Um, but thousands of people have spoken over the years. And, uh, and, and I think that one of the, the real concerns that Katie Holmes has is that she will lose control of Surrey, that she'll be brainwashed into this uh, organization. And, and you'll, you've seen it with Isabella and Connor. They're, they've been brought up in Scientology. Uh, they've been educated. They, and, and they very rarely see their uh, adoptive mother, Nicole Kidman.